Hey guys, uh, this isn't a video I thought I would ever end up making. I generally try to keep a lot of my content pretty lighthearted, what little of it there is. But this is something that's just been on my mind lately, and it's making it harder and harder to, to work on videos because this has always kind of been in the back of my mind, and I just feel like it's something that I need to talk about. This is just kind of, I guess, a forewarning, I guess. This is going to be a very, very opinionated video, and it's going to get a little bit political as well. That's just letting you know beforehand that that's going to be some of the the content of, of this video. And it's typically subject matter I try to stray away from, but I, like I said, I feel like it's just been on my mind a lot lately, and it's something that I just want to address. I don't know, maybe getting it out there will kind of help me understand my own feelings about the whole thing, my own thoughts uh, a little bit more clearly. Uh, without being said, this video is going to be completely unscripted. I normally try to script my videos to at least some degree. Uh, this one, I just think it'd be better if I spoke from the heart, so to speak, just kind of let my, my mind ramble. I'll try to edit it up a bit so it's not too bad. And I have some notes here to try to kind of keep me on track. But uh, yeah, this video may seem a, a little all over the place, but I think that's Probably the for the best, probably get my thoughts out the most authentically. I haven't been happy with the way Capcom has been going with the direction of, of a lot of their games and just the, the production of them. And this isn't true. This isn't just for Capcom. This is just a lot of studios in general. But I'm going to mostly focus on Capcom because they have been my favorite studio for, for a long time. I mean, I always say my holy trifecta of my three favorite game series. They all come from Capcom, and that's Resident Evil, Devil May Cry, and Monster Hunter. These three games are easily my favorite franchises, bar none, and I can't lie to myself anymore. The direction they've been going with a lot of their stuff isn't something that uh, is for me, and it's made it harder and harder to work on videos. I was working on a couple of different Resident Evil videos. I had one really big one I was working on that was gonna be like a few hours long, and I've just had comp no motivation to, to really work on it anymore because in the, it's always kind of in the back of my mind the direction that Capcom is heading. And it's just not something that I can I can personally uh, get behind. But anyway, what am I talking about when I keep saying this? What direction is Capcom going in? Capcom is going a direction of a lot more censorship. They're going into a direction that's very appealing to the you know, modern audience and, and quotation marks. And that's just not the, uh, that's not me. I'm not the demographic they're, they're going after anymore. And kind of the thing that really sprang this up, and I guess you could say that motivated me to want to make this video and get my thoughts out there is with the new Devil May Cry anime that got announced being on Netflix. Uh, Ruben Langdon is not being the voice for Dante in in that series and this was something a, a lot of us kind of saw coming but I guess we kind of held out hope that it would be different so Ruben Langdon has done the motion capture and the voice for Dante since DMC3 he's been doing it for a very long time and he's also been doing the voice of Ken Masters in Street Fighter uh since Street Fighter 4 and Capcom has done a lot of work with Ruben Langdon's uh, motion capture studio. I don't know if he owns it or just works for them. I think he just works for them, but the motion capture studio that he was a part of, Capcom had done a lot of work with them in the past as well. Capcom has very much distanced themselves from Ruben since Street Fighter 6 came out. Uh, Street Fighter 6 came out and they replaced his voice actor and a lot of people kind of had a feeling like, oh man, what are they doing? Why are they getting rid of them? Is this going to carry over to DMC? And now that they have announced this new DMC anime and his voice actor has been changed there as well, uh, one can only assume that they're going to change it in the next flagship game as well. Of course, you can be on copium and say that we don't know for sure yet they could bring them back for the next game. And they very well could. I mean, I would love to be wrong on this, but I think the writing's on the wall. Capcom has kind of cut ties with, uh, with Ruben. And I just think that's very disheartening for someone who's been with the studio for so long. And at least for me, he's the one that made that character. Honestly, like da Dante's great, but like 80% of what made him great was Ruben's performance. So seeing him gone was really disheartening to see. And I was expecting a lot of people to kind of share similar <laughs> sentiment as I did about it. 
And there were some. I think the general census is, is that most people just don't care. They, they couldn't care less if his voice actor changed or not. And I can understand that. I mean, that's a, that's an opinion I can I can respect. Uh, but what kind of took me aback a little bit was the huge amount of people that were celebrating that he was no longer the voice of Dante. And the reasons why I thought were a little bit ridiculous, if I can be honest. So Ruben Langdon is a little bit of a controversial figure on his Twitter. He's very like tinfoil hat conspiracy theory. I guess the worst thing he's done, he's against the vaccine and in the eyes of some people, that's just makes him as bad as the devil, apparently. I don't know. I don't I don't really get it myself, but it, it really just kind of bummed me out a little bit. And and most of the comments are all the same. They're like, yeah, he's a psychopath because he's anti-vax and that his misinformation was killing people. And look, I have to say, when it comes to the COVID and the vaccine and all that, I, I have my opinions on it, but I can, for the most part, try to be pretty respectful from people on either side of the argument and, and see where their points are. But to to say that some guy, keep on, he's not, Ruben Lane, it's not a doctor. He's not somebody working in the medical field. He's just some guy. <laughs> He's just some guy on Twitter. And even if he was spreading the most untrue, unfactual things about the vaccine, which truth be told, I didn't even know what he was saying about it because everyone just said he spread misinformation, but never went into detail about what he was actually saying. They just said he spread misinformation. And honestly, I really couldn't care less about the vaccine at this point. Even if it's the most vile misinformation thing about the vaccine, I still don't think that that's killing people. I mean, show me one person that is responsible, one person that died because of Ruben Langdon's tweet. You can't find one because it didn't happen. <laughs> and if you really think that somebody's tweet, regardless of what they say, if someone's tweet is out there on mass killing people, then you are chronically online and need to go outside <laughs> and just see the real world and see that people aren't that easily influenced by a tweet that they would put their literal lives in the hands of advice from somebody they don't even know. Or at least nobody as small time as Ruben Langdon. No offense to him. Just something that was kind of sad to see and to see them basically deconstruct and tear down the characters that they have built to appease people that can't separate an actor's politics from, you know, the art. And there's also, I mean, this even applies to Resident Evil even. Uh, Resident Evil 4 Remake came out, and I think it's a good game. Uh, I think it's a very good game, but I, I, I think I shilled for it kind of hard <laughs> when it came out. And I think part of it was I was in denial. I really wanted to believe that Capcom was as great as they used to be. And the reality of it is, is that they're not. There was a lot of things that were changed in, in 4 Remake that didn't settle well with me. Even ignoring a lot of the gameplay stuff, which I will say from a gameplay standpoint, it, I think it's a very, very good game still. But there was just a lot of dialogue changes they made. Specifically, a lot of the dialogue between Leon and Ada or Leon and Hunnigan had been very much altered to, I guess, not offend anybody. Any sort of comment that Leon made that could be seen even remotely or taken in any capacity to being derogatory towards women was completely removed or re reworked. And I just thought it was a little bit ridiculous. Like you play Resident Evil 4 and Leon maybe makes a flirtatious comment towards Hunnigan. Or I think of the scene like towards the end of the game when Leon and Ada are in the boat and the boat crashes and Leon goes, ugh, women. Women. <laughs> <laughs> And that, and that line was removed from the game. And I think nobody played the original and heard these lines. They heard Leon being flirtatious with Hun again or saying women to Ada and said, oh my God, that that is horrible. I can't believe Capcom did that. That, that needs to be removed. Nobody thought that. So when they make these changes, it's, it's not to appeal to people like me. It's not to appeal to the OG fans is to appeal to this new modern audience that wants to get offended at every single comment that could be taken as any sort of prejudice. And it wasn't even just for a remake. We saw this uh, with the Resident Evil 4 VR for the Oculus Quest. I bought an Oculus Quest 2 just for Resident Evil 4 VR. And so much of the dialogue in that game, specifically between Leon and Hunnigan, 
was completely cut out. The developers of RE4 VR even commented and said they did that intentionally because the game just didn't age well and needed to be better suited for a modern audience. It's, it's just kind of depressing, <laughs> to be quite honest. And I know people will say Resident Evil 4 VR, that wasn't made by Capcom. Well, maybe the core team behind it wasn't Capcom, but I mean, they were, they signed off on all the changes. They wouldn't have agreed to anything or approved of anything that they didn't think was acceptable. So they do play a part in those changes as well. It's just kind of ridiculous that this is the direction a lot of games are going these days, where there's so much walking on eggshells and no statement could ever be made about anything, even in a fictional world, without somebody getting their feelings hurt, and it needs to be addressed in some capacity. This is this is the new modern audience. This is the people that studios like Capcom are appealing to now. And getting rid of Ruben Langdon is, in my opinion, just kind of more, more evidence of that. That he was a controversial figure who some of these, you know, pronouns in the bio they thems didn't like because he had some opinions that they disagreed with and felt that he should have been removed i find that frustrating someone that has shown support for the series and these franchises for so many years and then feel like we're we're kind of getting thrown at the back of the bus to make sure the the people up front the people that are going to get upset over everything that they're the ones that are happy it's never been outright confirmed that Ruben's opinions are what got him kind of distanced from Capcom, but it's the writing's kind of on the wall. You can put two and two together. He did confirm that his tweets were not the reason why him and Capcom have kind of started to part ways and he wasn't in Street Fighter VI, but he didn't want to elaborate any further than that. He, he just gave a very cryptic message about opinions. So you can kind of put two and two together that uh, his opinions on things were a big contributing factor to to why they wanted to, to distance themselves from him. You know, I would never want that to happen to someone. And just because someone has an opinion I disagree with does not mean that I would want to go after them or their employment or their, or their job. Now, obviously, he does more than just Dante, obviously, but but still, it's something financially that he's not able to do anymore because some people, I guess, got their feelings hurt about his opinions. You know, what comes to mind, I'd like to think of David Hayter, the voice of Solid Snake. He's somebody who, you know, politically and his beliefs, I widely disagree with on nearly everything that he stands for. I think me and him would definitely not find common ground on, on nearly anything. But I would never, ever want anyone to replace Solid Snake's voice. I would always want David Hayter to, to play that character. And he, he's part of what made that character so enjoyable, and I would hate to see, see that replaced by somebody else. And I guess this new modern audience that <laughs> that Capcom is catering to, uh, they, they don't feel that same way. And I guess this is kind of where I have to realize that I'm just not the target demographic uh, anymore. I'm not the kind of people that Capcom is trying to appeal to. They're trying to appeal to a newer generation of people that I guess think a lot differently about how franchises should be handled than, than myself. Um, I'd love to hear your opinions on it. Uh, maybe you're one of those people that just don't care about it and that's fine. Maybe you think I'm the one being entitled and, and overthinking it too much. I, that's fine too, but that's just kind of where I'm at right now. And now uh, where am I going to go from here? Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll keep making Resident Evil videos or DM, maybe I'll start making DMC videos or, or whatever. Maybe I won't make any. And I'm not really sure uh, where I'm going to go for, uh, from here. But hey, I guess, I guess time will tell. So anyway, like I said, this is more of a serious video. It's not something I ever thought I would upload or, or put on my channel. But it was something that I just felt like I needed to, to get off my chest. So hopefully I don't have to make any more like this. But hey, who knows what the future holds. Maybe something else will happen next week that's so outlandish that I have to comment on that as well but anyway if you sat through this video uh thanks for hearing me out let me know what you think uh, in a comment i'd love to hear your opinion not just one that echoes my own but maybe you see things a little bit differently i would uh, love to hear what your thoughts on it